Kia ora koutou. I'm Kate Tagoldi, and the book I'll talk about is The Diamond in the Window, a novel by Jane Langton. I found it at the public library when I was 10. I borrowed it and its sequels compulsively over the next 25 years, mining it in some way, as a reader and a nascent writer. I often thought about stealing it. The Diamond in the Window is a realist family story shot through with unsettling magic. It's full of domestic clatter and childhood's comical longings. It's a treasure hunt and a philosophical journey. Jane Langton lived in Concord, Massachusetts, the book's setting, and was imaginatively charged by the work of earlier Concord literary luminaries, Emerson, Thoreau, and Louisa May Alcott. When Eleanor and Edward embark on their search, they are also launched on a journey through the ideals of 19th century transcendentalism, non-conformity, free thought, anti-materialism, and the divinity of nature. This philosophical pulse beats softly through the book. The reader is propelled by the siblings' perilous adventures and their entertaining relationship. But the story's true hero is Mad Uncle Freddy, one of children's literature's great adult eccentrics, an endearing, maddening, childlike spirit, seized by grand ideals. He is the passionate heir to Emerson and Thoreau's romantic ideals, misunderstood by his fellow citizens, but his mysterious impulses and fantasies are indulged by his niece and nephew. This is a daring book, full-throated philosophical exploration in the pages of a children's adventure. There's not a whiff of talking down. Langton trusts her reader's curiosity. She revels in language as possibilities, and her writing is stylish, witty, and richly expressive of childhood's excesses. That old library copy of Diamond is long gone, but some publishing angel at HarperCollins republished the series in the early 2000s. I now have two copies of The Diamond in the Window, just in case.